Is this Vincent? Uh, yeah. Who is... You know Catherine, right? Huh? This is Steve. Catherine's boyfriend. What? Are you serious? Damn it! You ass... Shit! Her boyfriend? Was she playing me? I thought it was weird for her to rush things. Oh, man, this shit keeps getting worse. Sorry. So you're Vincent, right? Uh... You're probably just using her, huh? No, it's not... Then you two are serious? Well, no... So then you are just using her! <sighs> Look, I'll break things off with her. I was planning to do it in the first place. In the first place? <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean... I, I never thought it would end up this way. <laughs> sake as well. You know the difference between right and wrong, right? I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> well, this fucking blows. <sighs> oh, what the fuck does everyone want with me? Well, at least now I can resolve this situation with her. He said his name was Steve. In any case, Catherine's gotta agree to break up with me once I tell her about this. I'll see her one more time to have a talk. guy out of the blue. I got a call this morning. This guy Steve said he's your boyfriend. Huh? What? He said he was my boyfriend? Yeah. He called me up. He said he was Catherine's boyfriend. Hmm. Well, obviously someone's got the entirely wrong person. Huh? But, but I he... told you it's not me. Really? Then who is it? How would I know? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Yeah, like I know a... Hmm? Wait. No, 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 I can't be. Um, you really know another Catherine? Just... Just let me think for a second, please. Um... Catherine definitely isn't a cheater. And I can't just trust every word this girl says. Hey, wait. Maybe this guy is just one of your lurkers. Huh? What do you mean? There's gotta be countless men that have fallen for you, right? Maybe one of them is still trying to get you to fall for him. I mean, you are really cute. <laughs> huh? God, what am I saying? <sighs> anyway, maybe this guy's not even named Steve. He's probably some creeper trying to act slick. <laughs> You're scaring me. Oh, sorry. You know, let's let's just drop it. Hey, you're the one that brought it up. It can't be. 
Her cheating on me? That's absurd. No, that's impossible. But can I really say it's absolutely impossible? I can't. Ah. Hey, are you listening? Oh, sorry, I kind of kind of zoned out there. You know, being with you is a real pain sometimes. Huh? Oh, sorry. Whatever. I'm going now. See you later. Yeah. No, wait. You, you can't come over tonight. Too late. I've already decided. Seriously, tonight is not a good time for me. I, uh, have really bad diarrhea. Hmm, that's so? Well, if you're not feeling well, I guess there's no point in going. Take care. Oh, okay. cheating <laughs> that's impossible not Catherine honestly man I wouldn't be surprised She's always meeting new people for work plus she doesn't always choose hey, the best guy saying right? it like I've been cheating timer? all this time oh, don't you get it it isn't about length jeez you men are such pigs next time she's here tell me man <laughs> I want to see her yeah this wasn't supposed to be a meetup out this way. This all sounds like a huge pain. Uh, come on, stop being so down. I mean, you don't even know if she's really cheating, right? Oh. So, what are you gonna do now? What else can I do? I have to know. Seriously. I'm just in shock now. In shock, my ass. Even if it's true, you're not innocent either. You're just a selfish pig. <laughs> she's right, you know. I know... I know I'm doing the same thing. But I knew she was lying to me. I couldn't take it. And yet here I am. Oh, man. Hey, Vincent. Wow. What a loser. Dude, I can't watch this anymore. You're really bringing me down, man. So she dumped him? Yeah. People say he's in bad shape. He's looking pretty messed up now. He might not pull out of this. He may even show up on the morning news. Don't joke about that, man. That's not cool. Anyway, did you hear what happened? Ah, jeez. This place is getting pretty loud these days. Hey, it might not just be a rumor. It's like, you know, the dream where you're falling and you'll die if you hit the ground before you wake up. Lately, a lot of customers have been talking about having strange dreams. <laughs> That's just stupid. How's anyone supposed to know what dream the dying person had? They're dead. It's just a dream. And real. Right, Vincent? Maybe he's already dead. Vince! Vince, wake up or you'll die! Seriously. Is he gonna be okay? I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a piss. isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? I don't even know. You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but... Then why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. <sighs> Dude, don't just sit there getting angry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Talks the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? 
<laughs> I remember that. People were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, I found the one. Um, you don't say. Well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. Catherine he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Actually, be cheating on me? I can honestly say there's no possibility. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you as you seem to have finished your glass. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. Made up your mind? Sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay, I'll be right back. Here it is. Hey, Erica? Erica, out of the four of us, who would you rather marry? Well, I thought Vincent would be the guy who'd take the best care of me. Past tense? Orlando and Johnny don't look like they'd love me. Ding, ding, ding. Which means... Eh, you, I guess. You're cute and passionate. But for reals? Yeah, yeah, congrats. Hey, <laughs> you guys jealous? No. Whew. I'm covering up my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. Looks so good. Todd, my boss, he's dead. Oh. He wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I, I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. Don't worry about it. They're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He was such a good guy. You got mail. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? This one? Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They come out of the mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Mr. Todd has died. What? It's three days until the time of freedom. You got mail. Johnny looks upset. Huh? He always looks like that. Did something happen? Uh, I don't know. You want me to ask? No, never mind. Probably just me. Hey. Uh. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? 
I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <sighs> um... Is that what you really want? Uh, this isn't about what we want or don't want. You got Your me. back looks awful weary. What, you can see my back from there? I was making a crack about a monkey on your back. Uh, forget it. You look stressed. See, my girlfriend might be cheating on me. Oh my. You're cheating yourself, and yet you're this concerned about your lover's fidelity. I want to believe, but it's just... I'm insecure. All the mistakes of the woman are the fault of the man. To cop a phrase from a certain someone. No, wait. That's not really much consolation, is it? <laughs> well, drink and forget. Not knowing something is as if it never occurred. Can I tell you the rest of yesterday's story? Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. It's done, it's done. That's what everyone else says. But it still won't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> Todd Bozeman, age 45. Todd? <sighs> Todd? The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all the updates we have on this story currently. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather. As always, if we have anything new to report, Drinking? Hey, I've been waiting for you. Did you know Todd? He was a regular here. Yeah, the, the department manager, right? Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious, shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth. He was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything, but I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. You got me. Tower. 
Quit wasting your time and come on over. What the? No. 